Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So let me give you a law, for instance. Thou shalt not kill. So if we taught our communities, thou shalt not kill, what do you think would happen in our communities if we taught that education? Less people would die, right? Simple. What about marriage is honorable in all? Do you know what that means? What is that saying? You want to you go for it? No. Let me know what it means. Okay, let's get that real quick. I'm going to show you exactly what it means because guess what? Because when you have children, right, it's between a man and a woman. They, they have intercourse. The woman conceives, a baby comes, right? So usually in our community, it's not based off marriage. It's based off some type of other relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, sneaky link, whatever. One night stands. But guess what happens when those type of relationships happen? We have children outside of marriage. You get young boys growing up being drill artists, kill, kill, kill. Why? Because there's no substance when there's a man and woman there. When there's a man and a woman teaching God's laws, now you're able to teach the children right. You understand? Read it. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. Hey, do you agree with that, sis? The Bible says marriage is honorable in all. Do you agree with that? Do you agree with that? Marriage. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. Not prom dates. 16, 17-year-old girls going to prom date. Then nine months later, they pregnant. That's not what's honorable. What is honorable? Marriage is honorable in all. The reason why it's honorable in all is because of the example that we just gave. You could educate the community, educate the children better. Why? Because you have a man in the house and a woman in the house, raising the kids in righteousness. But the reason why our communities is in disarray is because that's not happening. Marriage isn't honorable. That's why this is happening. Read on. And the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So God says whoremongers and adulterers, he's going to judge. That's what you're seeing in our community. You're seeing the results of whoremongers and adultery, God is judging us. So what's some of the things that happens to a whoremonger? You know what a whoremonger is? What is a whoremonger, sis? That is a man that sleeps with multiple women. So what typically happens when a man sleeps with multiple women? I'm going to ask you first, sis. Sin? Okay, so let's... let's Heartache. Heartache. So let's put some adjectives on these, on, these, on these sins. How about STDs? You know what I'm saying? How about violence? You know what I'm saying? Because if, if you're my girl, right, and now you're cheating on me with someone else, I get up. mad. Now there's violence that happens. You, so you have domestic violence, right? So you get STDs and domestic violence. What else happens? Let's just go with those two. Let's just go with violence and diseases, right? What you got there? Read it. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Bring it up. Also, every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Okay, so what we're reading, what the preachers are out here teaching is that the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the 12 tribes of Israel, we are the children of God. We are the real soul possessors of this Bible. God gave us these, this Bible, which is instructions for how we're supposed to operate. It's just like when you go to Sears or you go to any one of these uh, stores that to buy a uh, washing machine. You get an instruction manual on how to operate it. You get an instruction manual that tells you how to troubleshoot it. That's what this Bible is. It teaches us how to operate on this earth, and if something goes wrong, we can troubleshoot through it, and, it can, and we can fix us. Right. So that's what this Bible is supposed to do. So the Bible 
were supposed to do. So in Egypt, we came out of Egypt by the hands of Moses through God. He gave us this instruction manual. He said, look, if you do these things, I'm going to bless you. I'm going to put you on high. But if you don't, bad things is going to happen. You're going to go into slavery. So now he's going to touch on if you don't, if you break the, the laws of marriage. These are the things that's going to happen to you. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. So now you got a, you, you got a, a law in marriage, right? So here in Atlanta, right, what is Atlanta known for as far as when it comes down to sex? A high what? A high what? High sexual transmit disease. You said AIDS, right? So the Lord said he's going to bring every sickness on you for breaking my rules. So in a household, the father, he brings household rules. He tells his children, look, if you do, if you don't clean your room, if you don't do your homework, I'm going to punish you. I may take something away. And if you keep doing it, I may whip you. So God is saying the same thing. If you break the, 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 the holiness of marriage, sickness is going to come upon you. Read my verse 59. Verse 59. The Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long countenance, and sore sicknesses, and of long countenance. Because look, here it is, right? That, that, those herpes, HIV, AIDS, that stuff is continuous. It doesn't, you can't take no uh, antibiotics to get rid of that. You can't take an herbal supplement to get rid of that. That is something that lasts a long time. And you pass it on to your children. Do you, like, how do you, brother, let me ask you a question. What can help stop the, the, the violence in our community? What's one thing that can help stop the violence in our community? We're going over marriage. Would you believe that marriage is a tool we can use to help stop the violence in our community? Right. Because guess what happens? When you, when you have the woman that you had these children with, you and her are together, right? You are helping to raise this family in righteousness of the laws. That's right. Because most of the violence that goes on in our community is born by single-parent households. There's no man in the house. So these youngsters growing up, listening to little baby, little dirt, you know what I'm saying? NBA young boy, and all they talking about is drill, drill, drill. Kill, kill, kill. Right. I'm going to spin the block on my ops. But if there's a man in the house teaching God's laws, he's going to tell him what? No, thou shall not kill. Right. Don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend. Right. Don't jump around from woman to woman. Right. Why? Because you get STDs. You get gang violence that, spew, that springs up out of that. Right. You up. understand? Give me, drop that. Give me Exodus chapter 20. Matter of fact, Leviticus 19. So how old are you, bro? 26. So the thing is, we need the men to rise up. We need the men to rise up in our communities to what? Help raise and educate our children better. Because the man is the leader. You follow your husband. Are you married, sis? But... All right, okay, just to say, I, I, I get it, I understand. But the woman was made to follow a man. Do you agree with that, sir? Right. You agree with that, bro? What, what's your name, bro? Josh. Josh, my name is Jose. What's your name? Al. Al, your name, sis? Sally? Melanie. Melanie. All right, so the woman was created to follow the man. Right. The man was created to follow Christ. Right. Christ in these laws and, and God. That's what we were created to do. So I'm going to give you a law that you can start uh, applying. And guess what? The woman in your life that helped bring these children in, she's going to follow it, and now she can help teach this. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So we're supposed to be teaching in our communities, thou shalt not hate thy brother. Because the gang violence will come down to a knot if we taught this. It'll stop. It'll stop. Why? Because you're teaching your wife and the wife is teaching the kids. Right. Now you're being that example to your friends and they're doing the exact same thing. That's right. Because we do what we see. You wouldn't be wearing this outfit if you didn't see it on someone else and it looked fly. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like, hey, here's the thing. You got a lot of these rappers that promote what? 
certain liquors. They sponsor certain alcohol beverages. Why do they do that? Because that that uh, entertainer, he's very he's very powerful in his image. He's influential. That's so right. if he promotes, say what? Uh, I'm not going to name any of those drinks. But if he if he promotes a certain alcohol beverage, now the masses that follow him is going to drink it. Right. You won't drink it unless you've seen him do it. So that's why it's important for you to do this. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. The word rebuke means to correct. So if I see my brother doing something wrong, right? Say, I you walking across the street, and you see your brother um, about to steal something. You're supposed to say, no, nah, bro, don't steal. You know why you're not supposed to steal? Because if you get caught, you're going to go to jail. Who's going to help take care of your kids if you go to jail? Who's going to pay the bill? Who's going to keep the lights on in your house? You see what I'm saying? So that's why we're supposed to do what? Thou shalt any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So if I don't rebuke you, that means I hate you. If I don't correct you, that means I hate you. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with 